In this video, we're going to take a look at the new fur material in ShaderFX 2.0. I've pre-created a fur material here and wired in various nodes to create the fur material that I want. We'll go into this in more detail in another video, but uh, the basics is that we have a fur color map, which is this tiger pelt here, and we have a fur alpha map, which determines the density and the placement of the fur. I'm going to apply this to this tentacle that we originally used for skin effects. So I'm going to select a tentacle and I'm going to select the fur material and go to Tools, Assign Material to Selection. When we start off, the tentacle is completely black and we're seeing no fur, and that's because uh, we haven't applied any UVs to this tentacle yet. So I'm going to go out of Expert Mode and underneath the Skin Modifier, I'm going to apply Simple UV Map. I'm going to switch it to Cylindrical and flip it around. And now if we zoom in on the tentacle, we can see that we see the firm show up on the tentacle. Because this is all in real time, I can select the tentacle, which is in the feature of skin effects, and simply move it around in the viewport. And you can see that the fur is all updating in real time. We have many settings that we can adjust for this material. If I open up the Max Material Editor, and I've got the uh, fur material loaded here, you can see we have a number of steps which allows me to control the um, accuracy of the fur. The more steps, the more expensive. We have things such as gravity, so I can have the fur bend down more, as you can see. We have different colors, colors of the fur, color of the model itself. Uh, we've got the uh, UV scale, which allows me to adjust the density of the fur. So if I set this to 0 0.5, you see we get a lot less fur. If I set to 2, we get a lot more fur. Other features are that we can paint the area where we want fur and where we don't want any fur. Again, if I go into the modify panel and underneath the skin modifier, I add a UV paint modifier or a vertex paint, sorry, a vertex paint modifier. When we switch it to a black color, we switch on the paint brush, increase the size a little bit. I can start painting in black areas, and as you can see, the fur is disappearing from the areas that I'm painting. So this is a very interactive way of determining where fur is placed. You start with an overall fur placement bitmap, and then you paint areas where you don't want any fur, or make the fur shorter. So let's take a look at two more examples of fur. I'll open up another uh, file. So on the left hand, we have a, a, a fur that's similar to uh, a character from Pixar's movie, Monsters, Inc. Um, so it's kind of a blue-purple spotted fur, very similar to the fur that we've seen on the uh, tentacle. And on the right, we have another setup, just to give you an idea how the fur material works. I'll show you this bitmap. So the color of the fur, or in this case the stars, as determined by this uh, diffuse map here. If we look at the alpha map, which determines the placement of the fur, you see there are stars in this case, instead of noise like you would see on the left side. So this will give you a large number of options to create all kinds of effects with the fur material.